it's time again for Funky Function Friday. And I want to start by reminding you about the book of Tyrone. 3.17. It says, if it feels good to you, it's got to be good for you. So we are going to continue on from last week's lesson about that full outer join and that part that we have. And you know that full outer join, like that big hug, including everybody in the bosom of Abraham. To remind you of what happened, we decided that we were going to have a party. And we had a list of people who are coming and a list of people who were invited. And we had to deal with the issue of there are some people who announced that they're coming, but they weren't invited. And we did that full out of join, wrapped them in that big warm hug because everybody's welcome. So we want to extend on that lesson and kind of clean up the list. So let's look at this. We have the invited list, the phone numbers, and the numbers of guests. Then who's coming and what they're bringing. All right. And then we did our connections and our merge, which is where the outer join lives. And it produced this for us. Invited Rex. Here's Rex and Rex is bringing the fruit tray. We get down here and here are the people who weren't invited. But that's all right. Because if they want to funk, we want to funk with them. And everybody gets to funk, right? All the mother funkers, all the father funkers, all the grandpa funkers, we all get together and have a good time. All right, so let's look at the query editor. I'm gonna go over here and edit our query. We wanna clean this list up. And we're going to do an if statement in this editor. This if statement in this editor is a bit tricky. So let's dig into this thing right away. And we have to think if then else, if then else, okay? Because we won't get any prompts like we would in native Excel with an if statement. Let's go to add column, add custom column. What are we gonna call this column? Funkers equals if coming does not equal no then coming else Invited. Ha! Ah! Now let's check it out. Let's look at this column. Oh! Everything is there and can I get an amen? Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Here we go. Here's what's happening is we have the if look at the coming column. Okay, and it is null. So we pull Kenny from this column, from the invited column, all right? So we get down here and then we see, say, look at Tony. And the if statement says, if Tony does not equal null, which it doesn't equal null, then bring us Tony. That's what the if is doing. Can I get another amen? Oh, Let's go ahead and load this to the workbook. Close and load. All right, so now we have one list of names. Beautiful. Let's go back and do some more editing. Edit. Now I want to clean this up. I want to say this is a text column. Data type, this is text. Great. Let's move this column over here. Now I want to be able to make a column for the new people. Right. Add custom column. New equals if invited 
equals null, then x else null. Right? So these are the people who were invited, and we do want null there. And we have our X's where we do want the X's. All right, let's call this a text column. Home, data type, text, good. And let's get rid of this column. And this column. This is the way we want our list to look. Now let's see what happens when we get into native Excel. Close and load. Ooh. Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. <laughs> look at this. So we've got Kate bringing beer and we know that Kate is new. Beautiful. Now what we can do is if we wanted to sort this alphabetically, let's do that. Data and then sort A to Z. Wow, one list of names. All right, so now let's do one other thing. Let's go to lists and I got a surprise for you. All right, we're gonna unhide this row. Unhide. Now let's bring Ricky in here. All right, the table absorbed Ricky. All right, and then we have these four people. All right, they've been absorbed into the table. We've got Lloyd, Mario, Annie, and Ricky. Let's refresh our query. All right. Check it out. We've got Lloyd, Mario, Annie. And here is Ricky not showing up as somebody who's new. So we got it. We got it. We are funkin', baby. We are funkin'. So there it is. We've written some if statements and you just gotta remember if then else, if then else, All right? And please subscribe to the channel. I plan to do this every Friday and you get to have some say here. So all right, let me know what's happening and keep your data clean.